And staying on with news from the United States, the U.S. Senate's bipartisan border and foreign aid deal is already close to failure. The deal, if cleared, would unlock billions in new aid for Ukraine and Israel while also tightening border security laws. Well, of course, there is no, uh, you know, they are not falling in the same line in terms of a decision. However, top Republicans have now vowed to shoot it down and are preparing to block debate on the bill. The National Security Supplemental provides for around $118 billion in total funding. It includes $60 billion to support Ukraine, matching the White House request, and around $14 billion in security assistance to Israel. The legislation also includes around $20 billion for U.S. border security and immigration policy changes agreed to by Democratic and Republican negotiators. Now, most significantly, it would give Joe Biden the power to reject asylum seekers if illegal border crossings reached over 5,000 per week. The figure breached multiple times in recent months. Now, it's not clear that the 370-page bill has the 60 backers it will need to advance from the first procedural vote in the 100-seat Democratic-controlled Senate. Its prospects, or lack thereof rather, are clearer in the Republican-controlled House, with Speaker Mike Johnson quickly saying it would be dead on arrival in its current form. Biden urged Republicans who have been pressured by White House hopeful Trump to oppose the deal to get behind the bipartisan package. The former president, who is desperate to prevent Biden scoring a legislative win here, has spoken out loudly against the bill. If the deal falls short in either chamber, Democrats will argue that the Republicans have dropped a major priority simply to pander to Trump's White House ambitions. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. Biden ran on restoring humanity to immigration, ending controversial Trump era policies that led to families being separated at the US Mexico border. But Republicans dismiss his term as a failure, pointing to statistics showing border agents picking up illegal migrants a record 302,000 times in December. Joe Biden's immigration chief narrowly escaped impeachment over the U.S. border crisis on Tuesday. The U.S. House also rejected Republican-led efforts to pass Israel-only aid bill.